In 2018, Sacred Heart Greenwich welcomed astronaut Dr. Peggy Witts into our school's community. Recently, broadcast students in the Today from the Heart class, including myself, 10th grader Leah with the school newspaper, The King Street Chronicle, 8th grader Lindsay, and 4th grader Sophia had the opportunity to interview her virtually about her time in space and isolation, and how we can get through this challenging time of social distancing and self-isolation. One of the biggest uh, things to keep in mind is the big picture. Uh, having a big picture uh, can help you overcome some of the, your obstacles of the day-to-day -day life. You know, when I was on the space station, cleaning the filtration fans or fixing the toilet wasn't always the most fun job in the world, of course. Uh, but I was keeping the space station alive, keeping exploration alive, so it all felt like it was contributing. For us now, in isolation, uh, largely almost worldwide, we have to come to grips with the fact that we need a bigger picture too. It's not just the day-to-day -day of staying here in my house. I think the bigger picture is we are saving lives. The higher purpose like space exploration was for me on board is, is something that is a good takeaway message. So find what your higher purpose is. And maybe, maybe it's a, a much smaller scale. Maybe my higher purpose today is going to be cleaning the closet. When I was on board the space station, for instance, I got to have a video conference with my, my husband once a week. It's great to be able to share something new, like uh, I uh, sent my friends flowers of blue bonnets yesterday, or pictures of blue bonnets yesterday because they're in bloom here. And I wanted to share them with my friends, just like you would normally share them. I think you're getting trained real time now, <laughs> as much as we, we did in our preparations. We would do some training things like going out for long hikes um, with a group, you know, for a seven day period with a team. And we would work with them over that time period, practicing those expeditionary skills I talked about. We would also practice them underwater in a habitat called Aquarius. We, it's called, we would do these NASA extreme environment missions underwater uh, for two week periods. And there you also got to directly practice leadership, followership, uh, teamwork, all those skills, the communication required, all those skills we would practice. I think right now your isolation in your home is where you're practicing the skills and you just need to talk about it with your family and figure out what it is that, you know, as a team that you can do better and more efficiently. Everybody's going to be trying to get things done and uh, you want to be able to do your part to help out and make sure that everyone feels great at the end of the day.